Hi, my name is I Rock, and you're watching my YouTube channel, I Rock RC. Alright! Aloha, everyone! Yes, I am I Rock, and today we'll be doing an unboxing of two boxes. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, well, let's go straight to the unboxing. First, we have is the trusty razor. Remember, folks, when handling sharp objects or razors, please do not injure or cut yourself. And for those who are under the age of 18, please get your parents' permission. Now, let's go do this unboxing. Uh, small box or big box? Let's do the small box. <laughs> so, desk box. Comes from all the way from aiming.com. Aiming. Um, Chico, California. Zip code 95928. <laughs> so, same first, air bubble. Come Oh, kapow! Uh, what do I have here? A piece of cardboard. <laughs> Invoice from A Main. Plastic bag with goodies. Okay, so, uh, Let's see. I have a immersion RC real, uh, real virtual oh real virtuality six hundred MW five point eight gigahertz AV transmitter audio video transmission. I mean audio video transmitter. Focus too close to the camera. You want to read the specs or you just want to, here we go. Press pause. Oh, read this one. May require a license to operate. Check local regulations before use. Right down here. In the package we have is a, a plug. Want to connect to the transmitter, the geese. Voila! And uh, for the power, I'm assuming. Sorry, you'll be now on FPV. And then we have another plug. And connect it right to back here. Just go, just click right on. This goes to your camera. But you have to solder a plug. <laughs> then we can put on your antenna and voila now we can uh, have live footage we'll go FPV ha! 600 uh, MW not too sure what the MW stands for someone can comment below and let me know um, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, I guess it's a pretty powerful transmitter. Um, not really, no other range. I think people have not mistaken a thousand, at least a thousand kilometers, kilometers, about two miles. Not mistaken. I could be wrong. I'm just trying to like, figure it out on the top of my head. So don't, uh, you know, crucify me for the wrong information. <laughs> I'm sure someone's gonna comment below. I mean, just a hat. It's this FPP thing, it's gonna look kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, many crashes. <laughs> Boom! Which I already have experience. <laughs> but the best part of crashing is um, getting back up and trying again. And hopefully, one day you succeed. No matter how long it takes. After a million crashes, maybe. And then 
we have um, another box from Fat Shark. Um, partnership with Immersion RC. Real Virtuality. These are the Immersion RC Spiral Net 5.8 GHz RHCP antennas. If you're wondering. Circular Polarize. Comes with a cool card. Like us on Facebook. Okay, on Facebook. There you go. There, here's the information. And no, I don't have a Facebook. Support, people. It's all about support. So here are the antennas. Nanu Nanu. Wow, I can see better now. <laughs> I can also hear better. Nanu Nanu, Nanu Nanu. Wait, let me try adjust it. Oh, nah, nine, 9 degree angle. Oh, 9 degree, 90 degree angle. And then we have the V angle, L angle, which is the 90 degree angle. Or we can do the cross angle. Or this angle. What do you think, guys? Ain't my rock RC this, it's fun, right? So, that's the spiral net. And now for the teaser, we have an Abuse Mark Naze Breakout Cable. Okay, here it is. I'm not gonna take it out of plastic. Because it's just cables. <laughs> and without any, uh, with the Naze cable, comes or abuse mark fun fly nice 32 flight controller yes flight controller pre-soldered oh I got the white one ain't a bad that's my hat and shirt <laughs> so if you want an up close look there is an up close can I go closer closer it's too close I rock that's right we can go closer Uh, get into the light. Yes, there is light. Uh, angle pin. Pretty nice string. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yes, I got my piece already. I'm sorry. I know I could have got it unsoldered, but. I didn't feel like signing this circuit board. So yeah, May 32 flight controller. Going multi-copter. <laughs> Can you say build series? On a multi-copter or facing drone? And there's a lot of flight controllers. Uh, I guess the most popular ones is the, the you know, one of them is the NAS 32 uh, flight controller, and then the CC3D from Open Pilot uh, flight controller, and then you have your DJI uh, NASA M or M Lite B2 for that M. Um, but that's yeah, the DJI uh, it makes it really easy to fly, very stable. Uh, so far, I had experience with the CC3D. Open pilot flight controller. Um, I find it very difficult to fly it with 4Cell. Yes, I'm flying my Racing Joe Storm quadcopter Racing Joe with 4Cell. That thing is a monster. A beast. And it's just fast, wicked fast. Really, really fast. Fast. Good. <laughs> Stop it, though. Make your faces for the rock. But on to the next box. But that was it for that box. And this box comes all the way from Ready Made RC. Ready Made. And yeah, trusty razor. Oh, yes, I have uh, two quadcopters. I think that's enough. So I decided 
I wanted to do a build series on a quadcopter, a racing drone, but I didn't want to do one on a quadcopter. I saw this guy on uh, YouTube videos, Google, uh, on a Google search. So, but before I unveil what I'm going to build in the future, yes, I'm still going to do my cable build. I'm going to show you what kind of propellers I got. So I got the T-Motor Carbon Prop Balance. Brand new, new in the box, with seal. See? Uh, but okay, I'm not going to show it because I'm going to do it on the build series. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Thank you, drum roll! Dun da da da! Dun da da da! Dun da da da! Dun da da! Here I have is a plastic bag full of uh, Racing Joe from, as you can see, Blackout. And if you can read really close, it's a mini spider hex. Power distribution, uh, power distribution, uh, power distribution board. Um, looks like f f five inch propeller arms. Yeah, five inch propeller arms, three millimeter arm. Oh, five inch propellers, three millimeter arms. Blackout mini spider hex. If you don't know what hex means, it means six. <laughs> and six arms. So six three millimeter arms. So let's go dig into this bag. So here we for have is the top plate. I'm assuming <laughs> it's not labeled. See. <laughs> so uh, made out of carbon fiber. I'm hoping pure carbon fiber, 100%, and not a composite. Look at that bad boy. I love carbon fiber, don't you? Check that beauty out. Woo! <laughs> Gotta uh, practice start wishing, that won't be so long time. Check that beauty out. Awesome, huh? So, top plate. The distribution board. The distribution board. Wow, oh, this thing is fancy. Check that out. So basically, um, you have your leads where you can solder your um, ESCs to and your flight controller. Really interesting. Oh, and your LEDs. You know, video, a whole bunch of stuff, which I'm not gonna go over now. Oh, this look complicated. This thing just looks too beautiful to solder on. Yeah, so power distribution, uh, power distribution board, almost to the bottom plate. So you have the top plate distribution, distribution board. This is just, this is can't say it now. This distribution, distribution board, and then you have this plate. I'm gonna call this the GoPro mount plate. Goes on the bottom, and then you can mount your GoPro. I'm swimming right here, and then you can mount your LiPo battery, four cell, three cell, whatever works for you. Man, this is thick iron, man. This battery is unbreakable. We have four of the same size. Uh, the longer ones are for the front and for the rear. Front and rear motors. Or front of your arms and the short one is for the middle so six arms total that's why it's called a hex <laughs> you're kidding me i rock oh, and here's um the camera mount this is for your camera fpv camera here we have your stabilizer dampers for your uh GoPro camera and your spacers, more spacers, wire screws, nuts, stabilizers, the dampers, rubber dampers, silicone dampers, maybe spacers, big ones. And also, we have is a 
Blackout Mini Spider Hex card. Uh, you want more information? Blackout Mini Spider Hex. Uh, assembly manual and build information at www.team-blackout.com. Um, That was an unboxing and first look at the Blackout Mini Spider Hex Racing Joe uh, and some of my uh, new FPV gear. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as you can see, I've been hit by the bug really bad. The Racing Joe bug. <laughs> uh, I don't recommend you uh, get into it unless you're going to spend a lot of money. A whole lot of money. <laughs> But if you, but you know it's all worth it. Um, so far, so good. Um, I think the, you know, <clears throat> you know, flying is a um, man. It's an unreal experience, and then when you venture into FPV, um, you know that for me that is the closest thing that I'll ever experience flying on uh, in uh, F twenty two Raptor. You know. That's the, the way I see it, you know, it's like I'm flying my own F-22 Raptor, just in a mini size. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, flips and rolls. So, you know, and it's it's a challenge, man. I mean, flying is just a challenge. It's just, um, you know, like, I, like it's, you know, I'm so competitive. I hate losing, you know, I hate failing. Um, Every time I crash, you know, I, I just get more motivated, you know, it just fuels, put more fuel on the fire and it just burns, you know, the passion and the determination and the will and, the, um, you know, it just burns, you know, out of control, um, you know, determined to um, succeed and, you know, the more I fail and more I crash, you know, the bigger the determination gets, you know, I, and I, I'm not a quitter, um, you know. I'm gonna keep trying to like, you know, dial in this uh, racing drone. Uh, you know, I guess that's you know that's why I'm so um, I'm motivated and you know into this. Uh, that's why I guess I you know I, I'm really into um, flying these racing drones. So look forward to a build series on this um, blackout uh, mini spider hex. It should be interesting. I never did a build on a uh, racing drone. Um, I know it, it's gonna take a whole lot of cutting wires and soldering. Um, yeah, um, I think I have to order a few more things. Um, I do still have to order the motors. I'm still deciding on if I should get a three cell motor or a four cell motor. I think I'm gonna go with four cell motor. At least that way, um, I still can run it on three cell power. But if I want to go up to another, another level, I can go up to four, uh, six, four cell, yeah, four cell. <laughs> and then, uh, um, what else do I need? I, I need other things. Um, yeah, it's a small little innuendos, a buzzer, um, voltage reader, uh, wires, of course, um, some wire meshes. Um, yeah, so uh, oh, LED lights. Yeah, I'm gonna light this baby up. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's gonna be down in the future on the iRock RC channel. Uh, hopefully, you folks um, tune in and watch that build series and watch me crash and burn this mini uh, Spider Hex by Blackout. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah, that is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. Uh, uh, like always, I want to say big mahalos to my subscribers and viewers uh, for supporting my channel and watching my videos. Yes, without you folks, there will be no iRock cars. And I appreciate every single one of you. So, till my next video, guys. Take care and God bless. And aloha. Shaka. iRock out.